what motivates me in my work is and that has been the case since i i was attracted towards biomedical engineering is basically improving people's lives i think i feel uh, very lucky uh, to be in position where i can use use my skill set to bring about uh, improvement in general quality of life of people uh, especially who need them most you know neurological disorders can be very debilitating for uh, people who have them you know stroke is severe uh, spinal injury is severe so that changes your life significantly and if i can or my team can bring about positive improvement in in their lives and hence their families lives uh, i think uh, that is uh, a societal contribution uh, a meaningful contribution i think i'm making to the society I've been genuinely fascinated by academy's approach and it's I think it's genuinely unique in among senior academies of uh, United Kingdom where academy makes takes a lot of effort in connecting beyond sectors there are quite a few uh, different initiatives uh, which are very unique to academy of medical sciences trying to bring in nhs clinicians and uh, researchers and industry together uh, which is what we need at the moment I was always interested in doing research. I uh, wanted to do a PhD and that's what attracted me the quality of uh, UK education and inventions innovations coming out of UK. For some reason when I was doing undergrad I came across the so called elective modules uh, of biomedical instrumentation and since then I really liked the idea that you can use your engineering skills to improve people's lives through the healthcare system whether that is diagnostic device or rehabilitation or treatment device the uh, neurological disorders which uh, um, me and my team are currently focusing are mainly stroke and then spinal cord injury we are also working on cerebral palsy and parkinsons and one of the main reasons to work on these is because stroke is a huge problem uh, across the world just millions of people suffer stroke and every year that number keeps increasing and uh, it's quite debilitating so uh, that's why stroke is one of the main area of focus and then spinal cord injury and uh, cerebral palsy the reason for working in uh, in those areas as well there is quite a bit of similarity obviously these are different uh, disorders and conditions uh, but there from engineering point of view there is uh, there is quite a bit of similarity in terms of uh, the issues which you are trying to address across these different patient groups we are currently working on three devices and uh, one device is to improve the touch sensation of the upper limb uh, touch sensation of people with stroke and people with diabetic neuropathy the second device we are working on is to relieve uh, so called severe muscle stiffness called spasticity that is for stroke and spinal injury and cerebral palsy and the third device is uh, again is for spasticity but here it is not a treating device it's a monitoring device where we are trying to remotely monitor changes in the spasticity in patient when you lose or you have significant loss of touch sensation they aren't able to feel simple objects or perhaps maybe there is a loss of sensation in uh, touching someone bringing back that sensation or you know improving on that sensation would be helpful for them and crucial for them so uh, i think that would be useful definitely useful for patients and that's what the feedback says both the touch sensation improvement device and the muscle stiffness relieving device both of them have shown uh, really positive results touch sensation device has improved their touchability after a few minutes of stimulation by you know 20 to 30% on an average so that's a, a significant gain and the patients in general were quite amazed to uh, know that it just a tiny mechanical stimuli vibrations can do you know something like magic to bring back their sensation so that was something which they found really interesting and then spasticity device also uh, we found uh, improvement in their functional ability so that uh, their muscle stiffness or spasm is relieved but not only that they were able to do much of their uh, activities through their using their hand or arm so we seen good outcomes from both of these devices in patients and the third one is in still early phases is still in development now everything is so interdisciplinary and you cannot be expert in everything you know i can be barely expert in one thing so uh, you you definitely need collaborations and especially when you're working across cross sectors uh, uh, you know neuroscience uh, neurology engineering computer science social aspects of your application of your engineering so uh, you need to uh, collaborate with uh, different individuals so that you understand different elements of the problem you're trying to solve